Hey guys, welcome to today's video. If you're new, thanks for checking out the channel. Hit that subscribe button and let's let's get into it. So a lot of people have been, you know, complaining about the fact that Reason 11 as a VST has no MIDI out. And a lot of people have also been saying that it doesn't matter, you know, why is, is this a problem? And I've been thinking about it and I've I've kind of, you know, really realized why this is a problem for me personally and why I think this could also be a problem for people who are, you know, maybe considering getting Reason 11 now that it is available as a VST. Because one of the moves by Reason Studios to make Reason 11 as a VST is to kind of bring people who haven't been using Reason or were using Reason and have switched to another DAW back into the fold. However, the fact that there is no MIDI out for me poses a very significant problem to the point where I probably won't end up using the players very much, if at all, and I definitely would be put off upgrading to Reason 11 if I wasn't already so invested. Like, if I was a new customer, I wouldn't want to come and pick up Reason 11 because of this issue. It should also be worth noting that the problem that I'm going to discuss only applies to the Reason Rack VST inside another door. Okay, so if I open up a... Oh, it started doing this. I don't know why it started doing this. I haven't yet emailed Propellerhead Reason Studios to fix it. Let's just pull in a drum and add a player. Okay, all right. So whatever's happening with my reason, um, it's it's not bringing any of my rack extensions in, which means that I don't have all the players. So I, we can't show this example with, with drums, but the principles still apply. The principles still apply. So we'll we'll just keep going. We'll make, we'll make do. Let's use this layers thing and I'll put in the scales and chords player. Go EDM chords. Okay, so back when I was still using Reason primarily, what I would do is I would use this scale and chords generator as a way to come up with ideas. Like I might not think of these voicings myself. Like I know how to do voice leading, I know how harmony works, but sometimes it's nice to kind of collaborate almost with the computer. And so by setting up this set of parameters on the scales and chords player, and then being like, I want to start on C. Move to an F. It's like, hello, maybe I wouldn't have thought of that voicing originally. But because these are working on a formula or, or whatever, the voicings are limited in the sense that maybe I've got a creative idea that I want to use. Maybe I've got a kind of an adjustment that I want to make on some of those voicings. Back using the original version of Reason, there's this direct record and send to track button which don't show up in Ableton. We don't get that option. The reason this is important is because of uh, <laughs> Oops. I think I'm controlling both at the same time. That's interesting. Okay. Okay, so I've written this, I've written this down inside Reason. Now, if I want to make any adjustments, I can hit send to track and look. Now I have all of the chords written here.
So maybe I, could, maybe I want to do that. Maybe I want to add a bit more voice leading here. That's, you know, whatever. It's not quite, <laughs> it's, quite it's not quite anything yet, but you can see how easy it is to take the information that the player has, put it on the piano roll, and edit it, extend your creative ideas. Let's go back to Ableton. So you can't do that here, which is uh, a, a significant problem for me because now I, now I don't really have a reason to use this player because I have alternatives. I've been thinking about getting the Captain Chords plugin. I don't know, maybe one of my students has it. It's pretty dope, but I'm not convinced yet that I particularly want it. Maybe, maybe I want it. But one thing I've realized owning machine is that, you know, let's, let's uh, want to kind of mess around with, with a chord idea. Even if it's a sound from reason, with machine, I can select the option to go to a chord set and then what it does is it throws up a whole lot of chord options there and then there are a bunch of different kinds of chord sets. So all of these chord sets are options of chords that are going to sound really good in whatever key I'm in. What I can do then is just record something. Okay. And that is recorded what I just played inside the machine. So let's say, for example, I want to use, you know, this the, this reason instrument. Let me get rid of the player because it's not being any use to us. And let me bring up machine. I can grab this pattern and I can put it there. Just quantize everything. So now I have this chord progression that I wrote in machine using the chord templates, but I have it playing on the reason instrument. So you can see how I'm able to use machine as a scratch pad. And this is the way that I like to work with these kind of devices because usually I'm not completely happy with the result that I get out of the player. Usually I want some kind of additional creative control, whether that comes to the voice leading or the specific harmony in the chord that's being suggested. Currently with the reason rack, VST, you can't do that. So I don't really have any reason to use these players and the drum one, <laughs> the drum one, which is currently broken. I'm not sure why, but we'll fix that. I hope Reason Studios adds this MIDI out feature in the future because I think it's extremely important for a couple of reasons. First of all, this whole scratch pad situation, but also just being able to use the players to control other instruments and other sounds but I don't know in their manual they say reason rack plugin does not send out MIDI only receives this has got me concerned about whether they are planning on adding this in the future it makes no sense to me that they wouldn't 
In one of my first impressions videos, I compared the implementation of the crossfades in Reason 11 to the crossfades in Ableton. And I demonstrated how objectively they just suck. They did a half ass attempt at including this feature. And I'm concerned that that's the mindset that they've got with this Rack VST. Sure, it's dope, you could do a lot with it, but what seems like an extremely basic thing, MIDI out, you've got these players, they are supposed to have this functionality, they do in the normal reason door, they just don't include it. Like, and I can do it on machine, I can't do it in the reason rack. So, again, like to me, it just seems like a very, very half ass implementation of the feature, which is why I don't know if Reason 11 is, is you know, like for, for me that's a red flag if you don't use Reason already and are considering coming over to get the Reason Rack VST. Sure, there is a ton of other awesome things going for it, great instruments, great effects, the fact that you can reroute stuff on the rack is super fun. But players specifically, and what I used to use them for and like using them for, there are far better alternatives currently that you can get. Like Captain Chords, I'm sure there's a ton of Max for Live stuff that I haven't explored yet. Machine is a really fun way of working with it too. I don't know, I mean, you know, my goal is not to just sit here complaining about Reason Studios, but I want to speak up, provide some constructive criticism, as a user, and hopefully they see it, hopefully they hear it, hopefully they realize how implementing stuff like this poorly is not gonna be doing them any favors with new users or even current users. But anyway guys, that is the video. Thanks for checking it out. If you liked it, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Uh, yeah, I just, I just was thinking about this this week and wanted to make a video discussing it because I, I mean I kind of realized why <laughs> why I can't use the players. Um, but anyway, let, let me know if you're in the same boat. Does the fact that there's no MIDI out limit your ability to want to use the players in Reason or do you not care? Or do you have a different VST player plugin thing that you use? I'd love to know. Leave a comment. Catch you guys next time.